know, the warehousing, uh, the caging of people is over. Uh, this facility is a facility that's designed with best practices in mind, a, a facility where uh, we're going to be able to help people. Orleans Parish Sheriff Marlon Gussman's 10-year effort to provide safe, modern, secure jail for inmates and deputies became more of a reality today as the Orleans Parish Prison began moving inmates from the old Orleans Parish Prison into its brand new 1,438-bed facility at 2900 Perdido Street earlier this morning. The 433,409 square foot building meets the standards and codes of the American Correctional Association. Gusman said the new facility is a change from the old way of doing things at OPP and fits in with the new public safety strategy that focuses more on preparing inmates for reentry into society. If you go through this facility, you'll see that there are education rooms, counseling rooms, uh, there's recreation area. Uh, our television system is one that's designed for education, uh, not just for entertainment. The two buildings that sit on Perdido Street in the Mid-City area sit where the old Templeman 3 and 4 jail facilities used to be prior to Hurricane Katrina that severely damaged those buildings. They were demolished back in 2007 to make way for the $145 million facilities here now. Ultimately, uh, it doesn't include uh, special needs, doesn't include the acute mental health, and those are things that have to be addressed. Gusman says this empty space is where a third $85 million structure will be if Mayor Mitch Landrieu's office would address the issues surrounding the completion of that building. It's the responsibility of the city and the parish to address them. Um, I believe they have this kick the can down the road approach and they don't want to do it. I think that's why they tried to delay us moving in this facility uh, with a stop work order, with uh, refusing to give us a temporary permit because they, they don't want this progress to happen. Gusman says he will continue the move of new inmates into the new jail facilities, but he says the city needs to focus on a long-term plan to rehabilitate inmates and focus less on having a jail that's big enough. All we, all we want is a number. You know, that's not going to get us there. What's going to get us there is having a, a long-term and a short-term strategy to achieve public safety. Uh, and, and that's what I think they need to focus on.